my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well, I want to try the new Forever Dior foundation and this is the No Transfer 24 Hours Foundation High Perfect. And I already tried this Dior Skin Glow and I love it. And today I was getting ready and I thought, why not try the other one, this one here. It looks like a really good foundation and this is in shade 2N and looks almost the same as the glow one. This is the glow one. It's just that the glow one, you can see it's more, this one is more matte and this one has skin glow on the packaging. And this one is, the whole packaging is more matte than the glow one. And I like the glow one though yeah, I do have like combination skin. But I'm kind of curious to find out more about this. So if you want to see me trying out this and wear it the whole day, then please keep on watching. I'm going to wear the Vanish Airbrush Primer. It's my favorite right now. The one that really gives me that smooth, beautiful base. And I really trust the primers. I know some people think the primers that don't do anything for them, but primers are a must on my skin. Once I forgot to use a primer, I used a face cream and I thought it was a primer and let's just say I had to go home earlier to, to fix the mess. Okay, so we're going to shake this. It this kind of liquidy, it sounds like that. Let's pump out some. It's really early in the morning. Yeah, it's more liquidy than the, well, maybe not more than the other glow foundation, but I know how much I need to, so just go in with the shade. I'm kind of hurrying up to work, but I do want to try out new foundations. Usually I like to do that during the weekends, but I my weekends are busy, <laughs> so I go then and film during mm, early mornings before I go to work. Well, what I'm getting to, getting ready for work, can't talk. Okay, definitely like the coverage. It does have that same Dior scent, perfumey scent. So if you don't like that, maybe you won't like this foundation, though it's not all powering like some others but it's still there. This looks like my skin. It looks like I don't have any foundation. Uh, it's a little bit darker than my neck, but I'm very bright here. Usually I'm um, darker, or usually I'm darker on my on the rest of my body, but I do want more coverage. So I'll just take more drops of the foundation. I do like full coverage, guys, so. You don't need to apply this much, but I like that, so. And it really looks just like my skin. Bring this one a little bit lower. Okay, I can't feel this foundation on the skin at all. It dries down fast, so I need to work with it faster. Now, now I can see that I have some foundation on because it did apply a lot, but it still looks really, really good. I feel like it looks like my skin. That's nice. So I'm going to apply some uh, concealer, Charlotte Tilbury concealer. Here's the packaging of this concealer. So the concealer went on beautifully on top, uh, and I really like it. So for the cream uh, bronzer, I am going to go in with the tart one, I just like that bronzer. I do have other bronzer creamy that I like, but this one goes on fast. I'm obsessed with bronzers. I can't have my makeup on without the bronzer. I don't know how I did when I was younger. But bronzer just brings everything back to life. And for the blush, I'm going to go in with Tarte Blush 2. That's the creamy one. 
I haven't used this one for a while, so let's go. This is in shade Peach. Peach Sunset. I like this one. And I'm going with the brush from... Can't pronounce the brand. Mange? Mange? Oh, don't know. Don't know the brand. Okay, we are going to set everything using some Huda Beauty powder. And I'm going to go set everything with some powder bronzer and powder. It's my powder bronzer and some powder blush. Just a little bit. And this one is cheap, but it's really good. It's really good. If you haven't tried it, you need to. It's really good. Blush. There you go. Blushy today. Set my brows with Nude Stick Brow Boost. It's a really good brow gel. We set everything with some Kaya Cosmetics Extra Hold. Very. Come on. There you go. Finish the makeup look. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Uh, this is, the foundation looks perfect. It looks really good on my skin. I really enjoy it. I feel like it looks like I, I can say of course it looks like I have makeup, but it looks so smooth. Like it's my skin, but better. And I really like it now. It's seven, let me just show you my phone. 7.30, around 7.30, and I'm going to go on with my day, and I'll do a check-in off at the end of the day to tell you how it held, how it looked, but so far it looks really good. It looks more matte than the glow version, but it looks really good. Okay, see you soon. Hi guys, welcome. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Let's take off the glasses. It's now 4 p.m., you can see here, and I've been having this on since around 7.30, so, so around eight and a half hours, eight, eight and a eight around eight hours so let's look i love how it looks i do look a little bit shiny but this is more like a healthy glow i haven't touched my face at all and i feel fine and i feel like it looks like a glowy foundation the foundation is not cakey and if you can see i'm going to look very close it's not cakey hasn't removed anywhere i've been touching my cheeks and my chin the whole day I've been scratching my nose, maybe just around here, if you see, I've been scratching my nose and then I removed some foundation here on this part, but everything else looks really, really good. I've been really liking this foundation. It looks stunning on my face and it lasts the whole day. I feel comfortable in it. Every, the brows is there, the blush is there, nothing has been removed. And this is definitely, my lipstick though is removed, but everything else looks good and the, even my eyes look still good and I really enjoy this foundation. And I don't know which one I like more, but it has to be depending on your pr preference. Preference, what it's called? Your, yeah, your choices. If you want more matte foundation then and you have oily skin, uh, I think, or oily combination skin, I think this matte version will be very good for you the uh what it's called now forever foundation dior forever dior forever if you have uh more more dry or combination skin eh, or you want that glow then go for forever skin glow forever skin glow yeah, i i will try to remember to upload the put the link up here if you haven't seen my review of that but that also uh, I wore like eight, nine hours and I've been wearing it since then. I can't speak anymore today. I'm a little bit tired, but I'll be wearing it very, for a couple of days and I've been loving how it looks on my skin. Really looks really good on my skin. It kind of makes my skin look more healthier, less uh, visible lines, so it doesn't go into my lines. It looks like my skin, but better. Do you get a little bit shiny, but it's not shiny like oily. It just looks like a healthy glow. This one matte, I think, also is good. So 
I know I like both of them. I do like this maybe for summer when I get more oily during the summer and heat and those heat warm days. Maybe this one will work better for me, but I love both of them and I'm really happy I have them. This is in 2N, both of them are in 2N and the shades are exactly the same. So, love it. That's my review. The lipstick I did do like. I've been using it the whole day from Natasha Denona. I just love that lipstick. And that was everything, guys. Let me know down below if you tried any of uh, Dior's foundation. Have you tried this one? Are you curious about, about it? If you have any questions, let me know down below. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to, to like and subscribe to my channel and to like this video. And I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.